Hello friends, welcome to the world of e-learning. I am Rajiv Kumar Mehra, working as assistant professor in the department of agriculture extension with the background of agriculture. I am here providing online free coaching through my lecture video. From any place, any time, now you can learn through my lecture video. Today I am going to start a new lecture series on general agriculture. To explore your knowledge in agriculture, just join me on YouTube which will be helpful to you to give exams like IPSSO, NET, ARS, GRF, etc. Thank you. Let's start our new topic, Genesis of Agriculture. What is Genesis of Agriculture? We will discuss in this topic. In this topic, we will discuss the history of agriculture. Okay. First, we will read Evolution of Man. Okay. We all know that from monkey human being has developed, but how? We will see that. From monkey, Australopithecus afarensis has developed. From Australopithecus afarensis is Australopithecus robustus has developed. Then, consequently, the Homo habilis, then Homo erectus or Java man has developed, then Homo neanderthalensis has developed, then Cro Magnon. Okay, after cro magnon finally the modern man is developed. Modern man is uh, called as Homo sapiens. He is named uh, as Homo sapiens uh, scientifically according to binomial nomenclature due to its learning habit. Sapiens gives to it due to its learning habit. Okay, after that uh, according to trinomial nomenclature, it uh, Homo sapiens named of uh, uh, modern man has been changed uh, from, uh, changed to homo sapiens sapiens okay according to trinomial nomenclature okay human being uh, human being man evolved 15 lakh years ago and this type of modern man has uh, d uh, evolved in africa about 35000 years ago okay from 8700 to 7700 bc Sheep and goat were used as pet animal. After that, dog also used as pet animal. Among those pet animals, dog was used for hunting first. Okay. Then come to agriculture or cultivation of crop. Cultivation of crop started in 7500 BC. Okay. In this agriculture, uh, agriculture. They include peas, bean, linseed, wheat, barley, chickpeas as crop for cultivation. Okay, and uh, they rear sheep and goat also. Okay, here you can see the pictures sheep and goat also they rear, and these are the uh, and the crops which they have grown that in the 7500 BC is your. Peas, bean, linseed, then wheat, barley, and chickpeas. Okay, next, what is agriculture? We will know. Agriculture is coming from two Latin words that is, first one is your agric or agar, which means soil, and second Latin word is your cultural, which means cultivation. Okay, then what is agriculture? Agriculture is nothing but the art and science both in which we study all the human activities which are related to use of soil. Okay, it is also can be called as tilling of soil or cultivation soil. Tilling of soil or cultivation soil is also called as your agriculture. And agriculture, in agriculture revolution occurred by discovery of iron and use of iron. Okay, the revolution occurred in agriculture by the discovery of what? Iron. Okay. Then come to field management is directly proportional to productivity of soil. That means if field is managed properly then productivity of soil will increase. So here we will know the concept of agronomy. Then develop the concept of agronomy as field management. Okay, agronomy is coming from two Greek words. That is, first one is your agros, which means field, 
and nomos second one is your nomos which means to manage okay agronomy so we can define this as agronomy is the branch of agricultural sciences which deals with management of field and it is used for higher productivity both in quantity and quality purpose and it provide favorable environment to the crop also here we simply call agronomy as field management okay then come to the two uh, we will know two renowned person we will know about two renowned person that is peter dikrajanji here you can see peter dikrajanji and jethro tull okay these are two renowned person which are related to agriculture okay first we will know peter dikrajanji here you can see peter dikrajanji okay here peter dikrajanji wrote a book first uh, that opus ruralium kamodaram and he is also the father of agronomy father of agronomy is who who is the father of agronomy peter dikrajanji okay and now uh, we'll see jethro tull here you can see the picture of jethro tull okay picture of jethro tull just see and he has written a book horse wing husbandry here you can see that book okay and he used the term wheat and zero tillage first time then he uh, he also used a uh, seed drill and horse drawn cultivator first time okay then come to in india scientific cultivation started with commercialization of which crops that is sugarcane cotton and tobacco these three crops commercially commercialization after this commercialization of three crops the scientific cultivation uh, in india has started okay remember this okay then we know how the department of agriculture started okay so first a joint department of agriculture revenue and commerce has started or established on 27 april 1871 which was established by lord mayo with the request of ao hume ao hume has requested to establish the joint department of agriculture revenue and commerce and it is he requested to whom lord mayo ao hume requested to lord mayo to establish this joint department of this joint department of agriculture revenue and commerce in and it was established in 27th april 1871 then come to uh, a separate central department of agriculture that is established on 1881 okay in 1881 a separate central department of agriculture has established and it is established by famine commission 1880 famine commission 1880 have has established the separate separate central department of agriculture okay thank you